So these are uh, recordings uh, of uh, trumpet and trombone by a friend of mine uh, that I've recorded in the studio here. They're recorded with um, with a decent uh, large diaphragm condenser um, running through uh, tube EQ, compressor, um, and then into the sound card and recorded into Cubase directly. Fortunately, I have a, um, a great friend um, who is an excellent horn player and he does most of my um, horn recordings. And so it's just one guy though. So I, we like to build up a horn section. Um, so he actually plays trumpet and trombone. Uh, and so we have we, we record multiple takes and then I pan them around uh, to give it um, some space. And then I'll send all these to a, a group and then process them so they sound like a group. So that's panned over to the left. Um, and they are then bussed to this group. Let me just solo them. And then processed as a group with some EQ, um, some compression, a bit of delay, and then with some reverb sends as well. So not, not a lot of processing going on. Often I use uh, this tape saturation that's inbuilt um, in Cubase that sounds really excellent and just adds some weight and definition to the sound. I use this channel overview because I find it, you know, it's the easiest way to access when you're mixing a group or even an individual track, and you've got access to your plug-in inserts here, um, gate compressor, you know, tape saturation, then all your sends, pan, um, and actual volume all in the one spot. And so I think, you know, having it all grouped together there, it's similar to having the inspector on the side here, uh, it's just sometimes I find it easier having it in the center of screen.